Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's skin topic video is going to be all about aloe vera gel from Nature's Republic. So in this video, I am going to talk about the different ways you can use this gel. So it looks like this. It's almost like a jelly gel texture. That being said, I am going to show you in this video how I like to use it and the multiple uses of Nature Republic's aloe vera gel. So, so the first most method. common way to use this is of course on your skin. You can use this as a moisturizer. So you could just use this by itself, putting it all over your body. I used to love just to use this after I shaved my legs because it was really soothing if you had razor burn or razor bumps. Um, but if you find that it's not as hydrating as some lotions, uh, you can mix some aloe vera gel with your regular daily moisturizer which is what I like to do and it makes the consistency thicker this is really good for all skin types especially if you have sensitive skin and you feel like your skin is very irritated in the warmer months this is going to help cool it down soothe it say if you have sunburned or your skin is irritated from going out in the sun uh, this is a great gel to use sometimes when just using aloe vera straight from the plants it can leave like a sticky residue on your skin uh, this one doesn't it'll soak right in no residue and your skin is going to feel a lot softer so this is great as a moisturizer and also great as a sunburnt slash uh, even if you weren't sunburnt if you're out in the sun it's good to use after a long day in the sun so another really great way to use this is as a makeup primer so if you do have oily skin i suggest to just go in straight with the gel and use it as your moisturizer slash makeup primer but if you have normal to dry skin you can add a few drops of a facial oil along with the gel and it mixes so beautifully and the oil actually sinks in better when i mix it with the aloe vera so after I do that, I apply the foundation and it goes on so smoothly and actually the aloe vera helps my foundation last longer. Notice too when I do use this, especially in the hotter months, uh, since I am using a facial oil, sometimes it tends to look greasy after a few hours, but mixing it with the aloe vera, like I said, it makes my foundation last longer and the aloe vera kind of helps control the oils, which is really good. I don't have to touch up with powder as often. This combination as a makeup primer is really comparable to is the milk. Um, makeup primer and this one is like a sticky gel consistency and it does help your foundation last but I feel like I like this combination even better and it's a lot cheaper and you're getting the skincare benefits of the aloe and the facial oil this is the black sea facial oil um so you're again a primer that's giving you skincare benefits so I honestly prefer this one and it's a better deal uh, this one's still a really good makeup primer but it's just a makeup primer this one is a skincare primer plus a makeup primer so other way that I really like to use it is on my lips so what I do is I take a scoop of the aloe vera gel and a scoop of white sugar and then I go ahead and exfoliate my lips before I put on my liner and lipstick and lip gloss all that and what I find it really does is that the aloe vera helps to soothe the lips and take off all the dead skin cells with the sugar and also it doesn't make my lips feel irritated or too sticky uh, the aloe vera helps to soothe it and also too this is a very easily removable lip scrub uh, because the base of the aloe vera just wipes off so easily if you were in a rush and you didn't have a damp cloth or could wash it off at the sink you could just do this really quick and then wipe it off dry and the aloe vera is not going to leave a sticky residue uh, it's not going to come off like all oily and mess up your makeup. I do want to prep my lips and make sure that they look more alive. I mix the base with aloe vera and it really does help and I just feel like my lipstick lasts longer, the liner goes on smoother, and the lip gloss, I don't know, it just looks a lot more plump, especially using the aloe vera. Another final way that I like to incorporate using this product is in my hair. So this is actually really good for your hair, but when I'm done styling my hair, what I like to do is take a little bit of this and smooth it down, kind of like a gel so I smooth down all my baby hairs and my flyaways with this and then you can also put some on the ends so the hydration from the aloe vera is going to really help the split ends put it on and kind of using it as a gel it doesn't make your hair feel crispy it doesn't make it any more oily it just nicely sinks into the hair also uh, with the next day if you do want to reapply this gel to the hair you can it's not going to make it like too again crispy or oily or anything like that so it's a natural hair gel is what i like to think about it use this before you blow dry your hair or you put heat on it uh, just to treat it to make sure it looks a lot more smoother i personally like to use it after i've styled my hair but either way it works really well so those are the main ways that i do like to use the product and then incorporate them into my skincare routine but there's tons of other ways that you can 
can actually use this. So also you can use this as a cuticle treatment. So if your hands are very dry, but you don't like that sticky feeling of lotion on your hands, this is a good alternative to use as a hand cream. And um, you can also really get it into your cuticles and it'll help soothe cracked or dried cuticles without feeling heavy or like an oil. As a hand cream and a cuticle sealer is a really good way to use this aloe vera gel. You can use this to say if you got a bug bite or you have a pimple coming up. Um, if the pimple or the bug bite is super irritated, you can kind of use it as a spot treatment to help soothe that area and calm down the skin really quickly. The last and final way that you can use this is actually as a face mask. So you can apply a thick layer of this on your face after you've cleansed your skin and then let it sit for about 10 minutes, wash off your face and your skin's going to feel really soothed. You can either do that with just like a thick layer of the product itself or you can mix it up with different things. So say if you wanted to do an exfoliating face wash or face mask, you can use this kind of as like a gel cleanser, uh, put a thick layer of it with some type of like very fine, maybe white sugar. So just like the lip scrub, you can apply a little bit of white sugar to it and then apply the thick layer onto your cleansed skin, let it sit for a few minutes, and then when you're ready to wash it off, uh, gently exfoliate your face with the gel and the sugar. Also too, if you do suffer from dried skin and it is very irritated, what you could do is after you've done your skincare routine at night, seal all of your skincare with this, almost like a sleeping all of pack. my uses of how to use Nature Republic's aloe vera gel. There is more out there, but those are just the main ones I wanted to touch upon. It's actually sold very cheaply for $6.90 and you get... Uh, 10.56 floral ounces of it so it'll last you a while even if you're using it for multiple purposes it's a really good deal and i know on the market there is a lot of other skincare and body care with aloe vera or it's an aloe vera gel but i've tried different brands and this one is definitely my favorite and also i will link a blog post with the benefits of aloe vera plant uh, down below in the description box thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and i will see you in my next video Bye.